Hello everyone, I'm Lingyu, product specialist at Topaz Labs, and today I'd like to show you what's new in version 3.0 of Photo AI. So I have an image imported into the application here, and you'll immediately see that we made quite a few updates to the design. On this right side, instead of having the accordion style enhancements, we now have a lot more space for you to add new enhancements and also the add enhancements button where you can access all the current enhancements as well as presets, which we will touch on later. We also have the crop button here and also a save as preset button. In this menu, you can also see all of the enhancements that you've added as well as some controls such as enable, disable, delete enhancement. You can actually drag and move the enhancements around. And you'll also see some selection controls in enhancements that have a selection. Now, before I move into the actual changes we've made to the processing, I'd like to show you light mode, which is one of the updates that we made in version 3.0. If I go into the preferences menu, you'll be able to see the general tab with a color scheme selection. Now I can go to dark mode, light mode, or go with the system color scheme. And in this case, because it's daytime when I'm recording this, it will change the entire screen into light mode. Now, if I actually wanted to make edits to this image, I already have face recovery selected by autopilot. Now, zooming in, I'll be able to see that there's actually noise on this image. So in this case, I would want to add some denoise. When I add denoise, you'll be viewing the controls panel first. And one thing that you'll notice is we actually have a selection as well. In the new version of Photo AI, most of the enhancements will have a selection option. And if you click into it, you'll see that you have multiple options for auto selection. This is using our AI selection models. And from here, I can select the subject and you'll be able to preview the mask both in the main viewport as well as the miniature preview. I can go to background. I can select portrait, landscape, sky, none, or all. In this case, I saw that there was noise on every part of the image. So I'll actually be denoising the entire image. However, if I wanted to sharpen, for example, I could close this menu and look at the results. I can go to add enhancements again, and this time I'm going to add a sharpening. Sharpen by default is already working on the subject. And from here, I can see the results on the image. Now, what I'm noticing is that it's definitely changing her clothing here, and I can actually go ahead and disable the enhancement just to see what kind of change it makes on the image and if I want to keep the sharpening. So enabling and then disabling. I actually think that the image is sharp enough already. I don't feel a need to sharpen it more. So I'll just remove the sharpen enhancement that I added. Now, if I want to denoise first in this edit stack instead of doing face recovery first. Like for example, I may want to make sure my image is clean before I improve the faces. I can actually take the denoise enhancement and I can move it up. Now with this change, I've told the application to process denoise first and then do face recovery after. Ideally, this is going to give me a better result on my face so that denoise is not potentially removing details from the face after it's already been improved. Now from here, if I am happy with my results, I could export the image, but I also have the option to save all my edits as a preset. If I think I'm going to use this edit stack again, I can click save as preset. I get to name my enhancement. So it may be something like portrait improvements and then I'll be able to save it. You can see here I already have a preset with this name, so I'm going to cancel out of this. And once you have a preset saved, you can access it from the Add Enhancements tab. You'll see here I have the Portrait Improvements preset already listed, and I can even use this on other images in a batch. 
I'm going to open up the film strip. You'll see I have two other images that are also in this session. And by clicking the Select All button, I can select all of my images. From there, I can right click, apply, preset, and here I'll be able to use the portrait improvements preset. When I click on this, it's going to take my preset and apply it to all the images that are currently selected. So I'll be able to click portrait improvements. And if I mouse over any of these images here, you'll see that they are both running, all running denoise and recover faces with the same strength as the original image I was working on. Hopefully this video helps you with learning how to make the best of the tools and features that are in Photo AI. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to ask, and we would love to hear feedback as well. We're always trying to make the application better, and we'd love to have your input as we continue to build Photo AI.